Well, hello YouTube. Here we are with another bicycle video. In front of us here is one of my own personal bikes. Uh, you remember this bike from previous videos that I've done tune up and work to. There was one that I uh, didn't have the time last season to do. Took it to the bike shop and I'm not quite sure if they had a bad day that day or what, but I ended up having to do the work for them once I brought it home. So I used this bike off and on last season, worked uh, very, very well. Unfortunately, due to um, just sitting in storage or something, one of the cables must have stretched. And the derailleur now does rub and is out of adjustment, which is a very, very simple fix. Nothing really too major to, well, need to be done. I'm going to give this bike a bit of a once-over, getting her ready for another season. It doesn't really need much because, well, it uh, was in really, really good shape uh, when I got this here bike. And, well, I haven't heard it in the time that I've had it. So, of course, as you see, I already got her clamped up in the stand. Uh, just about to uh, diagnose uh, which um, adjustment uh, screw or adjustment is out of adjustment. If it uh, is rubbing on... Uh, while the inside edge then there's one way to fix it if it's the outside edge then there's a completely uh, different way to fix it that gives you a whole different result from you know the opposite way so of course let's uh, get down to business to get the old tools out see what we got and away we roll okay guys so one of the problems that I've diagnosed on uh, this here bike is uh, when you're riding it and you go to shift up into the uh, largest ring on the front of course whether it's a, a twist shift or you know one of the two button shifter or even this the old school uh, you know thumb style shifter they all pretty much work on the same principle so what I'll kind of do is give it a little bit of a pedal and um, kind of shift up into the big ring and as you see here, it uh, wants to uh, jump back down. And then it kind of rubs. So she needs just a little bit of uh, finesse, a little bit of fine adjustment to get that one where she needs to be. Of course, um, sometimes it's an it's a intermediate problem that comes and goes, and sometimes, while well, it's a, a huge cable slip that doesn't allow it to move at all. <clears throat> so first thing you do is you shift on down into the uh, smallest ring. Of course, now the cable will be well completely slack. And as you see here, the uh, middle cable has quite a bit of slack to it. I know it's not a lot, but when you're dealing with um, shifting or brake, you know, tension and stuff like that, um, a quarter inch or so more can really mean, well, a lot. So tracing that down, you end up seeing it goes all the way down to here, all the way in. There's a little pinch bolt here. Well, you start by, uh, so you start by relieving the tension on that there bolt. Once you relieve the tension, you give her another few spins to make sure it doesn't fall off the backside. And uh, if it doesn't fall off the backside, you're good to go. If it does, well, then you adjust the appropriate screw to uh, pull her a little further in to keep on to the gears. <clears throat> so let's get that adjusted and see if we're golden. Pretty much got the back brakes adjusted. Uh, nothing really too major going on there. A little bit of uh, brake pad wear which throws things out of alignment. If you notice uh, how thin you know they are starting to get you know that's a sign that you might want to be budgeting to uh, replace them. Make sure the cables run properly and uh, hooked up, and uh, well, that's good to go. Turning your attention to the well rear derailleur, the back shifting. 
make sure it's all uh, clean and adjusted and good to go. Being this bike was in such good shape going uh, well, into the fall, being this bike was in such good shape when I got it, and going into the fall uh, with the proper tune-up and stuff, it really didn't, um, you know, have any problems. Just a simple little once over, fix that uh, small shifting issue. If you notice, the uh, derailleur cable for the front is rusty. Uh, that's something there that you might want to watch because, well, it could have corrosion inside the, well, uh, housing here which will cause it to bind. I have never been one for these thumb shifters like this style where it's the one up uh, one down. So in the future when I do come across a nice set of uh, twist shift, grip shift, revo shift, whatever they're calling them nowadays, I might end up uh, switching them out. Other than that, you know, like I said, I once over check the air in the tires make sure uh, nothing's loose, nothing's going to fall off before the end of the season and uh, well you should be good to go. But this has been a little bit of a quick uh, once over on a giant brand Boulder model 21 speed mountain bike and as always thanks for watching Maxwell's World, comment, subscribe and enjoy.